This is Denver 7 On Demand. I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. How do you like the sound of Barack Obama Highway? A state lawmaker wants to rename I-25, just the stretch that runs through Denver. The resolution got the backing of a House committee today, and it moves to the full House next, controlled by Democrats, and then the Senate, controlled by Republicans. We are getting a clearer picture of just how pricey Denver Mayor Michael Hancock's trip to Paris was, an estimated $13,000 a person. That's what DIA officials tell Denver 7. Hancock traveled last week with his team for a trade and tourism mission on the new Denver to Paris route on Norwegian Air. The airport, which the city owns, paid for his trip, not taxpayers. An update on two other fires in Colorado. The 117 fire in El Paso and Pueblo counties is now 100% contained. It's burned 40,000 acres and destroyed 23 homes. And the Badger Hole fire that was burning on both sides of the Colorado-Kansas line is now also 100% contained. That one has scorched more than 70,000 acres. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here's a look at your forecast. We are under a First Alert Action Day as a strong storm system moves across the state. Prepare for a wet Friday. The mountains will get a lot of snow, between 3 to 6 inches. And we will see rain turning to snow in the metro Friday night as well. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you so much for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.